a minute. Hopefully you can hear me good. Um, I'm gonna get on here today and do something that I wanted to try. Um, somebody encouraged me to taste it and try it a while back and I haven't done my own. So tonight I'm doing my own recipe and we're doing cauliflower nachos. So without the chips, it's gonna be vegan. It's gonna taste good. I hope you all like it. And first I'm gonna get into my ingredients. Hopefully everyone can join me. Hello everybody, come on on, come on on. So we're doing California, uh, California, oh my God, having a moment, but I'm doing cauliflower um, nachos. So again, without the chips, but it's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna get into the ingredients and then we're gonna have a little fun with it. So first you wanna make sure you have your cauliflower and you can cut it, get you like, you know how you get like a head of lettuce, you get a head of cauliflower, cut it up real good, or you can get it already pre-made, do it the way you want to, to make it, you know, easy and convenient for you. Alrighty, so we'll wash our hands, get our stuff together, get our food out right now. So I got all of my ingredients, I have my cauliflower, and you know, usually with some nachos, you usually get your nachos, you have your cheese, you have your ground beef, or however you want it, fully loaded. But again, I'm doing it the vegan style, so it can be fully loaded that way. So again, we have the cauliflower, we have um, onions, we have, I put cilantro with my glock tonight, or my um, avocado, I mix that in together, so that's why you see it pasty like that. And usually, you know how you put like different dressings, different toppings on there. Today I wanted to do garlic and I have my two options here for my garlic here. You know, I have the mince and then I have the whole because I love garlic. Then I have my cumin because that makes it taste good. Some people like to use chili powder, but that's okay. I'm using the, the chow and lime tonight because it tastes so good. Then of course you have your cheese and your tomatoes. So first what you want to do, you want to put your cauliflower and um, you want to season it and you want to put it in the oven for like 20 to 25 minutes. So while I'm seasoning this, just listen to the music. Alexa, play my last song. Sorry, I didn't get that. Yeah, she will mess with me tonight. Alexa, repeat the last song. Perdón, no hay nada que pueda repetir. Yeah, she to Alexa, repeat the last song, please, ma'am. Sorry, there is nothing for me to repeat. Okay, Alexa, play ain't gonna hurt nobody. So you doing? Here's "Ain't Hurting Nobody" by John Prine Alexa, on Amazon stop. Music. Alexa, stop! Alexa, stop! Alexa, stop! She do the most. So you use your comment right now. Alexa, play "Ain't Gonna Hurt Nobody" by Kid and Play. So you just put a Ain't Gonna bit. Hurt Nobody by Kid Comment. and Play on Amazon Music. And then, oh, put your yeah. garlic in there. Oh, uh, 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 feels good. So once this baked, as soon as you put it in the um, oven, you take it out, and then that's when you add your other ingredients. So you want to add your, um, the time has come to enjoy I mean, I you to add your onions. Shit. The work day's over, and I got it made. Like Johnny Kim said, I just got
you, 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 you,